Only the other day, my husband turned to me and asked, particularly considering their rock and roll lifestyles back in the day, just how the remaining Rolling Stones stay in such great shape. 60 years on from their first US tour in 1964, they've just been doing another one. And at 81, frontman Mick Jagger has still got all the moves he did all those years ago. Then there's Rod Stewart, who ahead of his 80th birthday in January, continues to perform and play football. And how about Dolly Parton, who back in November last year, then aged 77, stunned the crowds when she performed at halftime of the Dallas Cowboys Thanksgiving Day game, dressed in their cheerleading costume. And she wore it just as well as the cheerleaders, some of whom were nearly 60 years her junior. So I've been taking a look at how they do it and it's not all a case of grinding away in the gym. In fact, these legends of music have found their own fun ways to stay in shape and energized. Plus, they share a less discussed but important element to staying vital. And before we hear how the stars keep their youthful swagger, here's someone who's hopefully gonna help me stay active in my 50s, meet Drixie Doodle. Some of you might remember that a year ago, we had to say a very sad goodbye to our chocolate Labrador, Daisy. And just yesterday, we welcomed this little guy into our home and I knew some of you would wanna see him. He's an Australian Labradoodle and we are all besotted with him. So while he hopefully sits quietly on my lap or on the floor, let's explore the longevity lifestyles of some of our biggest senior music icons. We're going to begin with the hip-swaying superstar that is Mick Jagger. His former wife, Jerry Hall, said that Mick started to tame his ways back in the later 70s and has gone on to become really a poster boy for rock stars in their 80s who can still bring the energy and the moves on stage thanks to his impressive fitness and flexibility. Now, he had an aortic valve replacement when he was 75, but that was a success much to his satisfaction. And for him, there are no shortcuts. He's known to be a person who doesn't like to sit around and he reportedly exercises for three hours a day. But he keeps it interesting by incorporating different activities into his regimen, using a blend of cardio along with weight training. So he reportedly enjoys running and cycling, but stays supple through dance and Pilates. It helps that his father was a PE teacher who lived to 93 and he believed in the value of regular exercise. And that certainly appears to be paying off for Mick Jagger. It almost defies belief that he's still able to perform at the intensity that he currently does. And he reportedly follows a mainly organic diet of what's widely regarded to be a longevity diet consisting of fresh vegetables and fruit, whole grains, legumes, and proteins like chicken and fish. And he still has the same 28 inch waist he always did. And when we look at the other two remaining stones, Ronnie Wood and Keith Richards, it is extraordinary to see just how lean they all are, which is a definite pattern that connects the stars who are still rocking into their 70s and 80s. They're lean, but they've retained physical and muscular strength. Now 76, Ronnie Wood has swapped wild parties for green juices, having been very open about his previous battles with alcohol and drug abuse before getting clean in 2010. He now says the natural high is the best one you can have. And he's had his own health issues in the past as well, surviving lung cancer in 2017 and small cell cancer during COVID. But like his bandmates, he refuses to let anything hold him back. To stay in shape, he says he does light workouts with a trainer along with stretches, which he thinks are essential when you get older. And even Keith Richards, or Keith as my husband and some of the diehard Rolling Stones fans will call him, he's a man who was renowned for his decades of hard living and drug taking. But says in his words, he now does a bit on the bike and a bit on the treadmill. And he's also talked about enjoying swimming. So his ability to keep touring at 80 is particularly astonishing considering he only gave up smoking five years ago. And it just goes to show that it really never is too late to make big changes in life. And although he's less forthcoming about his diet and how much exercise he does, the fact he is so lean suggests he doesn't overeat and he says he doesn't drink much alcohol these days either. And he seems to enjoy a home-cooked meal with a widely reported ritual of eating shepherd's pie before a gig. 
Now on to another megastar, one of my favourites, who just months away from his 80th birthday is still in great shape and continuing to perform to big audiences. He may have had to cancel his 200th Las Vegas residency show recently due to strep throat, but in general, he has kept remarkably good fitness despite going through treatment for prostate cancer in 2016 and thyroid cancer in the year 2000. And he has already announced more Vegas shows for next year when he'll be 80. And Rod Stewart puts his continued vitality and fitness down to staying active. And he has shared that he works out three to four times a week and he does some training in the swimming pool which involves diving down to push a big brick along the bottom of the pool while swimming underwater. He also says he does sprints which help him stay fit to be able to continue to play his beloved football or soccer and he believes anyone who wants to stay in show business to a ripe old age must keep fit and keep their legs strong. He specifically works to build up muscle in his legs two to three times a week. And he hasn't talked too much about diet, but he does have a chef. So we are at the very least looking at someone who eats nutritious home cooked meals and doesn't overeat. But he says he still knows how to party and he's not teetotal, but he reckons it's all about moderation and a good night's sleep. Lastly, let's talk about a couple of female icons, starting with the legend that is Dolly Parton. Age 78, although she's retired from touring to spend time with her husband, who's reportedly been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, she's still working and performing. And she's another star who, rather than having a hard set exercise and diet regimen, appears more to favor keeping active and following a healthier but balanced lifestyle. So. She says she does work out in her own way, describing it as creating her own rejoicing exercises, explaining that she grew up in the Pentecostal church where she used to do a lot of shouting and jumping around. And that's how, in her own words, she still keeps her motor running. And the star shared in her documentary, Dolly Parton, the Queen of Country, that she used to be a yo-yo dieter, who can't relate to that, having tried a whole range of different diet plans. Now there seems to be more of an emphasis on higher protein meals like homemade egg salads because they're quick and easy to make. She also has a love of traditional home cooked meals. And when I think about the relatives in my family that are living or have lived into their later years and into their 90s, none of them were ever on particular diets, but they each ate meals made from scratch from those natural ingredients that we know have the highest nutritional value. And that's a theme that you hear coming through from the Blue Zones as well. And some of these higher profile stars that we're hearing about today in their 70s and 80s and continuing to live active lives, they're eating a nutrient rich diet with plenty of protein and plant based fiber while making sure to follow physical pursuits they enjoy but also help them keep fit, lean and strong. At 77, fellow music legend Cher is another icon who continues to perform and stun fans with her incredible figure. And she's another star who likes to mix up and uh, do different fitness activities to make sure she's getting a full body workout. One day she's told fans she's just finished working out her abs, doing Zumba, yoga and wall sits. And the next, it might be a step class, yoga and different abs exercises. And she reportedly likes to work out daily, doesn't drink much alcohol, and has shared in the past that she prioritizes plant foods, whole grains, and healthy proteins. And that brings me to the final piece of the jigsaw here, which is something all these celebrities share, and that's the age-defying mindset. We heard recently 72-year-old bodybuilder Renee Landers on this channel, and I'm gonna link it below, telling us that age is not gonna hold her back and she just doesn't see herself as old, so it's just not an issue in her mind. Instead, she's someone who is still goal-focused and always looking for the next progression. And I think that that ageless mindset is just a huge part of staying vibrant and strong. But how many times do you hear people talking in a limited way about aging? You know, like, I, I couldn't do that at my age or I'm too old for that. And the way we think about age and how it connects to longevity is borne out by research. So there've been several studies showing that people with more positive perceptions of aging 
are more likely to live longer. In one of them, 660 individuals aged 50 and older took part in a survey for the Ohio Longitudinal Study of Aging and Retirement. And when some 20 years later, researchers checked the mortality data against the survey responses, they found that those with more positive perceptions of aging lived on average seven and a half years longer than those who had more negative attitudes. And the stars mentioned in this video not only have that ageless mindset, but they still feel a great deal of purpose and a sense that they've got more to give. And that's also really powerful. And for us, it doesn't have to be selling out stadiums, obviously, but just continuing to do and to give and to grow and to have goals as well. And in a couple of weeks on the channel, I'm gonna be talking to a trainer who has helped a client as old as 97 increase her bone density after starting strength training. So that's just further proof of what is possible at any age. And on this channel, I want to inspire and motivate you and me to age as well as we possibly can in our own unique circumstances and our own ways. So let me know what you think in the comments and whether you already think that you have an ageless mindset or if you think that's something you're becoming more conscious of trying to change. I'd also like to know what you want to see more of on this channel to help you stay active and looking and feeling as good as you can as you age. And if you enjoyed this video, you can help it reach more people by liking and subscribing if you haven't already. And don't forget, you can find more advice and information from me around how to age well on my website, honest.scot. And by scrolling down to the bottom of any page, you can subscribe to my monthly newsletter where I round up my latest content so you don't miss a thing. But for now, thanks for being here today and I hope to see you next time. I'm gonna get back to my little puppy now who's fast asleep on the floor.